Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Fearless. And today I'm going to show you some ways you can create transparent textures like these and make them 3D and see-through. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my paintbrush and I'll go to, instead of basic, you can use sprays and splatters or textures, whichever you'd like. I'm going to show you different ways to do things. And let's say this one, and I'm just going to test it and see. I'm not sure I like that. How about this one? Okay, let's try with the crackle. This is a crackle, and I can make it as big or as small as I want. So let's say I wanted a little bit of a crackly something like that. All right? And then I can just go to Effects, 3D and raise the levels. Now it's very hard to see because you're on a white background. So you'll check, you'll see in a minute when we change colors and all, but I'm trying to give it a little bit of texture. Bevel and emboss, I think I'll do emboss, and that gives it some more texture. So let's try it on something. Let's try it on a face maybe. So let's go to stock and I typed in face and I thought this one might work. I'm not sure. Go back to layers and lower the opacity. Figure out what size you want his face to be. Okay, before we color him up and all, I'm going to mask out anything around it. So I am going to bring him back, bring back his opacity, put this in front. So I am going to create a mask right here on that textured layer. Select the mask and make sure you take your brushes back to basic and pick maybe one of these round ones and make sure the hardness, I would say soft, uh, but I, I like to go completely soft just so I can play. And so now when I'm on my brush, it's too small, so I'm using my right bracket key to make it bigger. And if you paint with black, it disappears. I would say like that. And I forgot to make it big enough to do the neck, so I could either stretch, I'm not sure I want to do that, whoops, make sure I select the actual texture. I can actually stretch it, which might work, so we go like that. And then I have to go back to the mask again and paint all the excess out that I don't want. So now I'm going to duplicate this photo. So Control or Command J and take the top one and go to Filter Adjustments. Hue and, HSL is Hue and Saturation. And I am going to decide what color I want his face to be. I kind of like this blue. I think I'll stay with that blue. And I will lower that saturation just a little bit like that. And let's see with the luminosity. No, luminosity, I'll leave the same. I'll leave it at zero. And that's it. And now I will take the, the pixel layer with all the crackling on it and check different modes. I'm just going to go down the line and see what I like. I think maybe soft light. I'm going to go with soft light. I can also color that a different color if I wanted to because I can give it effects and color overlay and change the color. I don't care if you want to. I don't like the idea of changing the color, but you can if you want it to have a different color. I'm just not going to do that, so I'll take that off. And then what I'll do is lower the opacity so it looks like it's part of his skin. And I think that looks good. And then I'm going to take the mask Select the mask and go over in black where his eyes are. Get close up. So we don't want his eyes to be crackly inside his eyes. All right? And maybe there we don't want that. And we don't want the lips. The lips should not have all that crackle on them. So let's get rid of that. And maybe in the nostril. And I missed some of this while I'm at it. I might as well get it. And 
Let me get some of this. Looks like hair around his ear, but that's not what it is. So, okay, so now let's pull out. And then what I'll do here is I might give it a whole color overlay to make it a cool look. So let's go layer. We're going to merge visible. And that's the, that's what everything looks like. It's just one pixel layer. You can forget about all the rest. And then I think first we got to crop it right here. Okay. We're going to go layer, new fill layer. I am going to choose a gradient. And I would probably go from, since he, he's in the blue family, you can go blue and then maybe the teal, which is actually the teal and orange I should do. So let's do orange and then let's do teal. And then we can go like, just for now, we'll start with that. And we will do overlay or screen. Whichever you like, screen or luminosity. No, nope. let's do overlay. And I don't like this at all. I don't like the way it's looking. So let's see how we're going to do this. I would keep a lot of the blue on one side and some of the orange coming from the other side. And I think that's kind of cool. It kind of gives a little bit of a lighting effect there. And I kind of like that. And after a little dodge and burn and a little bit of a vignette, this is what I ended up with. I'm going to show you my others. I get file open. And this was another one that I did. And I just took a car and I masked out the car. I'll show you here. Let's see what we did here. I even gave it some gradients like that. But let's go back here. Let's see. That was the car that I masked out. And this is the texture. I was trying to show you what the texture looks like. That was the texture I used that I had masked out. And then I colored it a little with the, a little bit in the orange family. And then I added the, another one. I duplicated it because sometimes when you duplicate it, it gives it a nice effect. And then I added this gradient to it. All it is is, and I added some, a little bit of noise reduction on it. And that's what I ended up with. Okay, so now here I took a Starbucks logo. I did the crackle, and what I did with the crackle is I put it in the neg negation is my blend mode there. So that's how I got that effect. But here's something really cool. If you got rid of the logo here, that had a cool effect. So what I did after that was I added some effects to that like that. So this what I did was I first created an outer glow and a 3D. I made sure there was a black background, so it was contrast. And then I did a color overlay. I just chose an orange. And then I did an outer glow. I'm sorry, color overlay is a reddish. Outer glow is an orange. And then I also had, I closed that one. And then I duplicated it. And then I just got rid of the outer glow so that just the inside shows. You can make, create some kind of weird things with it. And I think it's pretty cool. And it gives you some fun things to do. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe. And please have a great day.